What's up everyone? Thanks for joining today. My name is Zach and this is Gus, coming to you from GreatDaneCare.com. Today we're here to talk to you about trimming a Great Dane's toenails. Now just as with humans, nail maintenance is very important for dogs. Um, they're so large and they have comparatively such small paws that there's a lot of stress and foot force put through them. Uh, so it's important to ensure that their nails are kept at an appropriate length uh, so it's not painful for them as they run around. Now on the market today, you've got a couple different options to actually trim your dog's toenails. Um, the first, and this is one that I actually don't recommend for Great Danes due to their large size, is a guillotine style clipper. Um, what this is, is there's a small hole where you can actually insert their toenail through, and as you squeeze the handle, it pushes a blade upwards through the nail. I actually don't recommend this because it's, it's not quite strong enough to actually cut through the large, thick nails of a Great Dane. Um, it's not the best fit. The second option out there is a grinder style clipper. And what this does is a small wheel that actually spins and slowly and incrementally takes off a little bit of the dog's nail. Now, these are a great option. Um, however, I actually don't use them for Gus just because she doesn't like the sensation and the vibrations that are sent by the spinning tool and she doesn't really enjoy the sound. Uh, it can also be a little bit slower. Um, so for that reason, I actually use a different style clipper. Now the style clipper that we prefer is a scissor style. Uh, it's also known as a Miller's Forge. And what you can think of is it's basically a heavy duty pair of scissors that are meant to trim off just tiny bits of a dog's toenail um, one at a time here. And we really like that because they're really strong and it's quick and easy. Um, the downside, however, is if you're not careful, you could actually cut a little bit too much of their toenail off and actually cut into the quick, which could lead to some bleeding and potentially a little bit of pain. Um, luckily, if you do hit the quick, you can actually stop the bleeding using a little bit of styptic powder, um, which is quick and easy, but obviously it's not, not an ideal scenario because you don't want the dog to associate a bad experience with getting their nails trimmed. Now the most important thing before you actually start trimming a dog's nails is to actually have them get used to handling their paws. Um, so from the time that they're a young puppy, if you get them them or if you adopt them later, you want them to get really used to you actually picking up their paws, handling them, and even squeezing them and providing a little bit of pressure. Um, if you need to, you can provide treats, you can play with them. Uh, belly rubs are great, right Gus? Um, you can take them to the park, really just try to make it a fun experience. Really don't associate any kind of negative reaction um, with the handling of their paws. Um, some dogs can be very sensitive and not really enjoy humans handling their paws. Um, so it's something you want to kind of work in and instill in them from a, a young age or as soon as you can get, get them. As far as how frequently or how often you actually cut their nails, the general recommendation is about every other week. Um, however, there are a couple things to consider. Um, one being that the quick, the thing that actually grows out on the inside of the nail, that's actually not a fixed length and will actually continue to grow with the full length of the nail. Um, so for this reason, we actually trim Gus's nails on a more frequent basis. Um, so we already clean her ears once a week. So during that session, we also take the time to just give her nails a quick trim up there as well. This is great because it means that the nails not only don't get too long, they stay nice and short, but over time it also ensures that the quick doesn't grow too long as well, which means that for future trimmings, we're less likely to potentially hit that quick there. Um, it also, just through the process of getting her used to having her nails trimmed, oh, getting sleepy Gus. Uh, it also makes her more used to the process. That's something that she doesn't have to kind of get scared of, you know, once a month or if you happen to forget it. Uh, but it occurs so frequently, she's just used to it. It's not a big deal at all anymore at this point. All right, so let's jump in. I'll take a closer look to show you how to actually trim her nails here. All right, so what we've done is we've had Gus turn around so we actually can see her nails splayed out on the end of the couch. And what you can look at here is if I, for example, take this one particular nail, We'll see that as I kind of poke this out, you can see the little bit there that's actually kind of curled over. Um, that's a good sign that that's the piece that we want to actually trim when we cut the nail. Now we want to make sure that because she has dark nails and you can't actually see the quick, you only want to take off a little tiny bit at a time. Um, so what I'll do here, I'll switch hands so you can actually see this, is actually just trim back just the tiniest little bit and kind of go with this bit by bit here. Um, so that's just one little hunk off that nail, and I might choose to work it back a little bit easier going kind of side to side, just taking off the tiniest bit at a time. Um, you want to make sure, once again, to not hurt, hit the quick because that's the part that will bleed and potentially also cause a little bit of pain. Um, so I can go through and work all these nails one by one and work all the way to the back here. Um, so it shouldn't actually take more than a few minutes. That's one of the key advantages here of actually using this scissor style clipper. Um, it actually doesn't take too long. So let me go ahead and just finish up these last couple here. All right. So with that, Gus has gotten her quick little potty cure. Um, I could spend more time kind of taking these back a little bit more. 
Um, this is kind of the advantage, however, of doing this on a pretty frequent basis, is you never have to worry about taking too much. Um, so I can only take a little bit at a time here, and obviously she's not too upset, she's hanging out on the couch, and I'm having a good time so I can give her some treats afterward for a good job. Um, obviously we still need to do the back poles as well, but that was a pretty quick and painless process, and Gus doesn't seem to have minded too much, do you girl? So we hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Hopefully this makes you feel more comfortable with trimming your dog's nails. If not, you can always choose to take them to a groomer and actually watch them go through the process and you can have them give you some tips. So that's all we've got for now. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. We've also got a longer form article that covers more in-depth instructions as well as recommendations for our favorite clippers over at our website. You can find that at greatdanecare.com nails. If you like this video, we'd appreciate it if you gave us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and also go check out greatdanecare.com for more content. Until next time, stay Danny, my friends. Goodbye.